Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Pukowski here and today we will be talking about many-to-many -many relationship in Canvas app particular and those many-to-many -many relationships will be taken from the Dataverse. Those relations are hidden from the user so regular patch won't work when you try to create those relationships or you try to either link or delink those records you have. So this is quite interesting topic and it's hard to understand at start. So keep your focus. Let's start Zwinia Fukowski in So let's start from the real life example. We have many of those many-to-many -many relationships in the Dataverse hidden from the user. There are two types of, uh, of working with relationships. I will show them to you. And First, you can have typical many-to-many -many relationship with the junction table, which is hidden to, uh, uh, from the user site in the data first. So when you create create those relationships by create relationship in the data verse, there will be automatically created a form of table in the middle. So this is how you can work with the many to many relationships. And in the um, B example, you can create a middle table which will hold one to many and many to one relationships and when i was working with salesforce salesforce there is a quite i think easy example to to show you this we have orders and products which we are ordering in the store so table one is order with order name with with all the products, etc., etc., and in the table two we have the products. So the products can have ID, can have name, and when we create the order, we actually create many of the order lines. In each order line, we have order ID, which will show us from which order it is the order line, and we have product ID, which will show us from which table the product is in. So in this table line contains product ID, order ID, and can display, for example, product name, can display the price, can display the quantity, can, can multiply quantity by the, uh, by the price and give order line total. And the total of order lines total will give you the sum of the order, which will be kept in the table one. So this is an example of how you can do it. This is actually a little bit complicated because you need to create a table in the middle, uh, but it's, it has its uh, own upsides, which, is, which means it, it will be uh, easier to move to the other environment because many too many relationships can be a little bit tricky when moving. But we will use the A uh, example here. Uh, because some parts of the Dataverse systems have many-to-many -many relationships made by default. And I will just show you one of them, which I actually use in my app. This is an option how you can create users, uh, sorry, how you can relate users in your Canvas application. So I will choose my user. This is Bigniew Fukowski. I will add the security role which I've created earlier to my user and when I click this user I will press remove button which will remove this uh, this security role from my users. Let us go to the Dataverse now. In the Dataverse I'm in the user hop 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 I'm in the user Table. In this user table, when you cl click the schema part and the relationships, you will be transferred to the relationships. As you can see, there are many, many, multiple, one-to-many relationships. Oh, those are hundreds of them. But there are some many-to-many, -many, five 
if I found five, but two will be uh, especially, especially important, which is user and security role and user team. So we will, in this example, we will work with the security role and user. As you can see, this is this table has its own schema name. It's great, but we cannot. If we, if I click on this, I cannot go to the related table because it's hidden. It's hidden by, by the system. So what I can do, we have a relate and unrelate function, and this function is working like this. I'm able to relate uh, with the relate my table when I choose the, the part of this table which is responsible for relation. And I'm relating to this, this particular table a record. So this record will be then added to the part of the first table which is connected to, to the second table. And I will give you now the, ex the appropriate example. In here, I'm using the relate function. So the, this is the relate function. And is, as you can see in the prompt, this is, this have two arguments. First, I need entity one related table, and then I need entity two record. So I will start with the roles and try to relate a certain user for it. For the user, I'm using the what is selected in my combo box already. So Zbigniew Łukowski, but now I need to find the role. I'm using the lookup function now, which will in the security roles, which is of course the table, will find me the unique ID, which is my, my specific security role. But if you don't want it, 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 don't, it doesn't need to be hard code. You can use uh, a, another combo box to select the user role which you need. And then by, on it, by this, it will also grab the GUID and give you the specific uh, record, because if you highlight this, you can see that this is record. Great. The data is not visible. Oh, well, but you have the record. So what happens now if you, after you found, find this record, press the, press the dot. And now you can see what you, what else you have already for this security role. You have all the, the basic information, the basic columns, but not only this. You can also have those hidden relationships. One of them is the users. So the users will not give you a record now. These users, pressed by the dot, will give you the table. This is the table connected to this security role. So if I have my security role, the name doesn't matter with this GUID, I know which users are already connected to this role. So if I will, will be creating a gallery from this, it will actually point me all the related users. So if I have three users, I will have three roles in my gallery. So this part is actually what is called in this relate function entity one related table. So we have found what is the most important in these related functions. Now we want to, to find the entity two record, so record from the users. And this is the, the next part. This is the lookup when I create, when, when I'm searching for the record for this beginning of Lukowski record. Under the hood, we will also have the GUID from this, all the information to just relate those. So if I press this button, it will grab me this code and just do the action relationship. Then sadly, here I have, I have 
my variable which I've created from 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 the um, the first part. So from the security roles of my specific role and the users. So if it's uh, working correctly, then when I press this. So I have a little bit problem with my sessions. Uh, and when I'm refreshing those security roles and users, it doesn't work in the edit for now because I would need to recreate the functionality in the incognito mode. But when I'm using it in my application, in the play mode, it actually works correctly. So let me add it. It was added. Let me remove it. It was removed. So after I refresh those, these, these uh, tables, I'm setting the my variable to show this. So this is the part which is not working in the edit correctly. It may be a problem from time to time. And uh, if you have this problem, just test it in the play mode. I really encourage you to test the properly because many to many have a little bit of problem with the edit. As you can see, we also give, get the warning that that one to, uh, to many or many to many relationship is being referenced and this can impact performance. So this will impact performance in the edit mode and won't, won't be uh, recreated correctly. So what I have also in the remove part, well, I have the same thing, but I'm now selected for, if, for all options. If, the, if my checkbox value is uh, checked, so Whenever I have something to the checkbox, I'm I'm uh, using this record and I'm unrelating from again from my relationship, which was is the same as uh, the one which I used to relate, and I'm lookuping the users uh, with the full name equal to uh, gallery ten selected full name. So. So this will count only the selected users and remove them. Oh. Ah, this is annoying. Sorry, I have to do it in the play mode. Yeah. So this is it. This is how you work with the with the relate and unrelate function. This is the first part. How can you show in a gallery what you have related and unrelated in your uh, in your many to many relationship because viewing is also a problem so let me create a vertical gallery in this vertical gallery let me uh, in the items use the users so I want to select all the users and see all their security roles which they have so this is the uh, the many to many relationships which we have. Hmm, let me create the font weight. This will be bold, and this will be semi bold. In here, in here, I want in the items. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, in the text. This will be actually a text, of course, because it's a label. So I don't want this item title. I want this item security roles. And there are many tables connected. So I want to look for system user roles association, which will hold the names of my security roles after the dot. dot Name. Or is it already? No. Okay. Let me now concatenate this. So I want to specifically show all the user roles which which uh, are there because I cannot use the. I, I just forgot. I cannot use the second dot because it will be lookup from the lookup. Uh, which means that uh, this will there will be two levels of 
of going down to retrieve this name, and this is illegal in Power Apps in most cases. So that's why Power Apps is not fetching this data because it will affect performance, I, I guess. Okay, so then I want to I want to use the comma, space, and double quota, close the parentheses, and you can see, you can see correct roles of my of my users. Uh, what else can I do if it? Yeah, I have one role which is which is after the comma. Mm. But it's not visible. I don't remember if this is not the false data. Let me show how it will change if I remove it. Yeah. If I add it, you can see that this one was added here, but the name is not visible because there is probably not enough space for this. Let me grab some more space. Yeah, this is one. This is my my application uh, custom role. This is in Polish, so doesn't matter for for you. Okay, so this is how it works. So I've shown you how to use the relate unrelate how to view those uh, those many to many relationships in the gallery i already told you why patch is not working because it only patches the record and not the relationship which is underneath uh, not visible i sh i show you how to grab this this um, relationship in the lookup function and now you know how to work with relate and unrelate. So I've made a, made a lot of efforts to create this uh, video. So if you liked it, you can like, sub, you can watch my other content. I have 100 other power ups videos about different topics and this will all be pure knowledge. So Ignio Fukowski out. See you soon.